<laughs> Welcome back. Um, I wanted to do a special video because this week will make exactly a year since I took the leap and decided to join a coding boot camp. Um, and to be honest, I can't believe it's been a year since then. I feel like I've grown so much. So I wanted to talk about what it's been like for me in this year, um, things I've learned about myself and hopefully some tips for yourself to either look forward to or you might be going through right now. So let's get into it. So first thing is, you know more than you think. So leaving boot camp, I really thought that I knew, like I felt empowered, but I felt like there was so much more for me to learn. And then I got to my first job and I'm like, and granted I work in corporate, corp, I'm a corporate software engineer. So there's just certain things as a corporate software engineer that it's a little slower pace. And on top of that, I'm in a very entry level role. So, you know, you hear, and if you read a lot, you'll know that they, they don't allow us to touch as much, right? But in reality, what we're not allowed to touch is really like, for me, what would have been the equivalent of like first to second week. Like, so I was talking with someone and I was like, hey, they had to do this feature that like, I mean, it took me maybe, if I did it by myself, it took, it would take me maybe an hour, maybe. But you know, I'm dealing with people who haven't really made websites before. So that in itself is a process on top of doing TDD, which is test driven design. Anyways, the point is, I was shocked at how much I knew going into this job and how prepared I was for the job from my boot camp experience. Um, and I, so that all brings back to the point of, you know, you do know more than you think. And I know imposter syndrome can get to some of us, but you really do know more than you think. And you just need to rely on your knowledge or your ability to res uh, research and look for resources if you don't have the answer. You'll be surprised how many software engineers at companies don't they say google but they don't really google google how you really had to google google you know building your own projects on your own or through a boot camp so you definitely know more than you think second um i would say i learned a lot about myself um i always felt like i knew how to study and i do kind of know how to study how i study because of my background in science but to be honest like I learned so much about myself, you know, even at my job now, it's made me consider uh, doing freelance or like becoming an entrepreneur in my own way. Um, because these are skills that I, I never, I didn't come from a background, background where I would, I had skills that I felt like I could transfer. Well, I had some like communication, but what I'm meaning is like, I'm a scientist, like, and I'm a biologist, right? So most of the stuff, and I'm a biology pre-med, so most of my knowledge, like, unless I'm in a healthcare setting or a lab, like, or a professor, like, you can only teach or go to grad school or med school, that's it, or dental school, professional school. It's not something I can, uh, I felt like I could easily transfer over, right? It's just so many things have opened up for me that like I've learned more that I think I'm more than just like working nine to five and I never thought that about myself. Um, so I learned a lot about myself this past year um, and it's unlocked a lot of things for me. Um, so yeah. Third, fourth, it's like building on a community. Building a community was so essential for me finding my first role for me interacting with other people, for me potentially getting my next role through somebody else or through a referral. Um, but having that network on Twitter, on Instagram sometimes, on uh, LinkedIn, um, having that network has really, and that community has really like reminded me how many people are around me that are hungry, right? Like I said in previous videos and before, like I'm older, a little bit older, so, for me, most of my friends now that either are software engineers in tech or just working, like, you know, we've been out of undergrad for a while. So for me to be in an entry program, it's a, it was a little bit difficult and challenging for me because I feel like I'm sitting with people who, you know, we're like eight years apart, right? So, and like, I don't really have, not that I don't have friends around me that can support my journey, my issue is that they're eight years ahead, right? So there's some things they're just not gonna be able to help me with or it's over my head, you know, on my learning curve. So it's it was nice, it is nice, and it was nice that I was able to build a community and continue to build a community through Baddies in Tech as well. Um, it was nice to have that community because then it's like, I felt like I wasn't doing it by myself, you know? 
Um, and I wasn't, and I'm still not. And it's so crazy to get on Twitter every day and I see people like starting their journey and I'm like, I remember when CSS was my struggle. Still don't really know CSS, but I remember. So building a community was so important to me um, over this past year since I started my boot camp, and I'm very appreciative of it. I'm going to plan to continue. Uh, this is actually the most shocking to me. I realized that I like helping people pivot into tech more than I actually like working in tech. I thoroughly enjoy helping people move into the tech space. Now, what career can I come can come of that? I am not too sure. Um, I know there's plenty of opportunities, but I thoroughly enjoy helping people get into tech. And I did. I knew I didn't want to be a software engineer forever. But what I didn't realize is that I like how much I would enjoy. I never thought about it. I told you guys I love when you guys email me and talk to me and all these other things. Um, so I'm going to maybe look into more careers leaning towards that, but like, I, I love it. Like I, I love it. Six, documenting my journey on YouTube was probably one of the best things I ever did for myself. Um, it opened me up to that network and to that community that I, that I spoke about earlier, but I think it also at the time provided a great outlet for me to not only help others, but to, uh, discuss how I was feeling and kind of, I'm not, I like to write when I take notes, but I don't really like writing a journal on a regular, like I don't do any of that, right? So, so for me, so for me, like this was just a really great way to like express how I was feeling and be able to maybe, uh, not maybe, to network with people who might be going through the same thing. So I, with that year of documenting and doing all these other things in terms of boot camp related content, um, and moving into tech content. Um, I would highly encourage you if you're going through this journey, if you're not able to or you're more introverted, maybe look into ways to document your journey, whether it be make your own YouTube channel, even if it's private, uh, journal, uh, just record yourself for yourself, um, write a book, you know, something. I think it was very therapeutic for me to be able to like have an outlet outside of my class. People are more into helping you than you think. I get this a lot. Like, oh, you know, I can't believe you re responded. I'm like, I, I get that some people don't respond, but people are more willing to help than you think. You just have to ask. And I know it's scary to ask sometimes because you don't know the person, but you'll be surprised. Like I said, just by opening my mouth and saying certain things and like even t um, at my job, I had to get feedback and like, it was, it's weird cause I've never had to ask for feedback before. And I just asked and they all said yes, you know? So people are more willing to think, and I know it's scary to ask, but you know, either you're gonna get a yes or you're gonna get a no, you know? And if you don't ask, it's gonna be a no anyways. So just take the risk. It, it is what it is. You expand your network that way. Not everybody, everybody may not respond and that's okay. But continue to ask until, if this is what you want, you're gonna have to, get out of your comfort zone a little bit to get to that. And that's definitely what I've learned over the past year um, about the tech field. You have to get out of your comfort zone if you really wanna succeed. Um, and I've definitely learned that over, over time. My last and final tip is you don't have to do what's expected of you or you do things the way you wanna do. If I went through my entire journey and did everything, you know, people online tell you don't go to a boot camp or go to a boot camp or learn on your own. Don't learn on your own. Use this resource. Don't use that resource. Do what works for you. I actually had a call with someone and um, when we were talking, I made the claim about, I, we were talking and he was comp like comparing himself a lot uh, to his classmates and I completely resonated with that because I've, I've spent, there was a period of time where I definitely felt like after boot camp, um, I was working. I had to go back to work full time, and my classmates were able to stay, you know, eight nine hours and make projects and things. But you have to just do things the way you do, like need to do. I needed to work. I needed to make money, and unfortunately, that comes at a cost sometimes. Of like, I didn't have time to do projects, but I knew that I wanted to be more in the corporate world of software engineering. So I had to think about who's my competition, 
um, what resources were they probably gonna be utilizing, things like that. I had to be very strategic because I didn't have the all day to make more projects and, and do data structures and algorithms and do all these other things. So yeah, I would say lastly, like, just do what do your journey the way you want to do it. You could take advice from online, but at the end of the day, it's you that's going to have to learn it. So make sure you're doing it in a way that like that's for you. Um, and I would say those are all pretty much everything I've learned over the past year since starting my boot camp. I'm so thankful for this journey, um, and I'm thankful for you guys uh, for watching. And I'm hoping that I can help in the future in any way as well. Um, feel free to reach out to me. I've switched platforms on how to reach out just because I've gotten a lot of um, weird requests. <laughs> so uh, you'll find the link in the bio on how you can reach out to me moving forward. Um, and I'll put it on all my old videos. But you'll find the link in the bio on how to reach out to me uh, moving forward. And I hope to be able to work with some of you and help you guys in any way. Um, but please continue on your journey, like I said, and I continue to say you're not alone. You're never going to be alone. And as long as you build that community, you're going to find everybody's, it seems like everybody's trying to move into tech. So that's it for me. Without being said, you know, have a great rest of your week and I will catch you guys in my next video. Have a good one.